Hello, Steve Obridge here. Um, so first of all, I wanted to apologize uh, for those of you that watched my previous videos on my lens replacement surgery re review. Um, I did kind of a one week, then a three month, and I'd planned to do a six month. And um, yeah, just kind of got busy. Uh, I guess that's a good thing because it means I was distracted enough. I wasn't thinking about my eyes. Um, but, but, you know, uh, I, you know, I said I would do it, so I wanted to make sure. And again, thank you for those of you that have, um, you know, put comments and asked questions uh, on those videos. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to try today to answer some of those questions and really kind of just give you an update on um, what I can see uh, with having had lens replacement surgery um, in, gosh, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Uh, it was probably, yeah, it probably is about six, seven months ago. Um, so say seven months, just under seven months ago. So this is like my six month review um, after lens replacement surgery. So, um, and I'm gonna give you like the, the good, the bad, uh, the ugly, the, you know, I'll, and I'll also try and answer some of the questions as well um, that I've seen. So, so to give you a bit of background, so I was uh, short sighted. Um, my eyesight really wasn't too bad. I didn't have any medical issues or anything like that apart from just had to wear glasses to read and look at my phone and my iPad and things like that. Could see the TV quite well or perfectly. Uh, distance was no problem for me. Um, so there was, you know, it was, I didn't really, it wasn't something I needed, but I just thought, you know, how cool would it be to not have to wear glasses anymore? You know, I was, I would do that thing. Um, funny enough, I've got some glasses in here, but I would, I would do that thing that again, many, many of you um, probably do where, you're watching the TV and I, and I would kind of have my glasses like this because I would be wanting to look at my phone um, like this, um, but I'd also want to be able to see the TV as well. So I kind of did a bit of that and this, um, you know, okay, this is what I used to look like with glasses, by the way. Um, some might argue it was better. <laughs> but um, so I, I, um, I literally um, decided that, you know what, I think this would be a cool thing to do. It was a little bit scary. Um, on my previous videos, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a, a link to those videos at the end of this so you can see. Um, but basically, I, um, I, you know, I went to uh, Prague in Czech Republic. I did look at costs in the UK um, and I saw them advertised. I even was scheduled to go down for a, a, um, a consultation. Um, but then I, I came across somebody that I know um, that had had done that and they really just said, look, they say this price and when you get there, they upsell you and you know, it costs you like twice the money or whatever. So I thought, oh, well, I'm not gonna waste my time. I knew other people who'd had things done abroad and had good reports. So I, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna look into that. So there was places you could go. We personally decided to go to the Czech Republic, to Prague. Um, and again, it was great. The, the quality was fantastic. The, 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 the whole service from literally where we were met at the hotel, um, you know, the whole process of, of um, start to finish was was awesome, professional. The people looked after us, met us at appointments, took us back. I mean, took care of all the, the COVID um, tests and stuff we had to do back and forth. Um, so great, just really looked after great. Um, you know, I, I had to, um, so I went for my tests and again, the tests were really, really comprehensive. I mean, I can't remember how many I did now, but it was loads. It wasn't just like a couple of machines. I, I mean, I think I went on, gosh, eight, nine, ten, gosh, maybe even more machines. You know, probably I'll have to check my own video to see how many it was. But, but um, yeah, it was a lot of machines, um, a lot of tests on all different things, and it was just you know, it was, it was a bit of time. Um, the downside was you, you got to get a lot of a lot of eye drops. Eye drops are really stingy. You know, they'd put these eye drops in there to open up your pupils. And that was a bit stingy. Didn't like that very much, uh, but you know, necessary. Um, so, so basically, I, I um, you know, really, I guess you're watching this video because you you know all that already. So you you want to know, um, you know, how is it now? So um, first of all, um, you know, I, I'd like to say I'm I'm really satisfied. I, I don't think I'm 100% satisfied because, you know, I when I was wearing glasses. I could look at my phone and it was perfectly clear, no glare, no shadowing or anything like that. And um, yeah, it was perfect. Um, when I watch TV, you know, we have one of those like 
big OLED TVs where the blacks are really black and the whites are really white and, you know, it, it's really clear. And, um, you know, because it's light, you know, um, it, it, it has a different effect. You know, if I'm reading, if I'm reading a, a, a book, you know, um, there's no glaring. I can read it. There's, you know, it, it, there's no, um, yeah, no problem. I can read it. I can read it. I mean, literally, you know, it's pretty perfect. There's no real glare on that. Um, oh, well, my book, by the way, available on Amazon, Mindset Skill Set. Just a, a shameless plug there. Um, but I, but I, um, yeah, I can read text on paper. There's no real glare. It's fine. Um, but on a phone, you know, again, because it's light, you know, when I'm looking at my phone, I can still see, again, call it a halo. It's, it's like a, a blur around it. Now I can read it fine. It's, it, it's not an issue. Um, you know, I can read the smallest of writing. It's not a problem. Um, and again, even on my computer, you know, whether it's white writing, it has this kind of little halo around the white because it's light. Uh, even with the dark, you know, again, there's a little halo around it. So, you know, that part of it is, um, you know, not not really happy with that. Um, but again, I'm only six or so months in, so I don't know whether that improves. Everyone I speak to says, oh, that improves over time. It can take even one or two years. But ultimately, you know, whether it's just that your brain adjusts to it or, or um or it actually changes, I don't know. I guess it's probably maybe a bit of both. Um, but yeah, certainly at this point, even six months in, I wouldn't say it's 100% my eyesight is perfect, um, but, it, but it's, it's livable. I mean, I, I, don't think about, I don't think about it. It's only if I, I'm, I'm, I actually think, oh, let me check that, then I'll notice. But I, I don't really notice it. It just becomes normal and, and again, same with driving. You know, when you're driving, something that apparently never goes away is, is like halos around car lights and things like that at night. Um, don't, yeah, don't, you don't really notice it. I mean, at the beginning, it's like, I remember the, the, the drive to the airport um, after a few days of being there. And I remember it was, it was nighttime we went and it was, there was lights everywhere and it was like halos everywhere. And it was just like, wow, this is, there's a lot of halos, you know? Um, but again, you know, even after a relatively short time, that became kind of something you didn't really notice. Um, or if you did, it, it just wasn't an issue. So I'd say not to kind of worry about that too much. Um, you know, uh, uh, so that's kind of my experience. Um, apart from that, I, I mean, I did have, I saw one of the questions on the comments was about this kind of flickering. Um, and I did have that at first, uh, first maybe month or two actually, where, I'd, I'd be looking and I almost felt like there was kind of like this flickering here, like like it's something's, you know, almost like there's something moving and there's like a flickering going on here. And that was a bit of a concern at, the, uh, at that point. But again, spoke to somebody and they kind of said, oh no, that, that, that goes away over time. It's just a thing, you know. Um, and yeah, so far I've got to say, I've, I've not really had that for quite a while now. Um, not that I can recall um, either that again, or I've just got used to it. But I, I, it's not something that's been a um, an issue for me. Um, somebody, uh, yeah, so someone's asked that question on the comments. I'm looking at the comments here just to see. Um, um, someone says, I'm having second thoughts. Um, oh, that was just a, a day or so ago. So um, they were having a laser surgery next week. Uh, look, I, I, you know, I can't tell you what to do, whether you should have laser surgery, elastic or, or lens replacement. Um, I know that you know my other half and my sister have had laser, and then um, you know my sister actually went to get lens replacement afterwards. And she actually couldn't do it. She went to the same place, did all the tests on her, and they said, "Look, it, it, it wouldn't actually improve things for you. You know, you'd still have to wear glasses, uh, but instead of wearing them for short sight, you'd have to wear them for long sight. So it was almost like just a reversal rather than." Um, actually solving the problem. So in her case, they, they advised her not to do it, which was great. Great that they didn't just take her money and not her not be happy. Um, you know, they, they actually um, advised her not to and she took their advice and didn't do it and just had a week's holiday in, in, uh, in Prague. Um, for me, they, they did check. And, and I've got to say, they also did an extra check for me because there was some concern they had about contrast. So they actually took me in for a second day to have another specific test um, where I had to kind of 
you know, click a button every time I saw a dot or something. Um, and then they decided that it was okay. Um, and so, yeah, hopefully I was, it was fine. Uh, in terms of the cost, uh, do you know what? It's really weird. I don't remember what it cost. I probably said in a pre previous video, but it wasn't crazy money. I think like less than 4,000 pounds. I mean, for both eyes, it was like three and a half, I think. Um, I don't remember. Again, probably in a previous video I've done there. If I haven't put in the comments, I'm, I'm sure I can go look it up um, and see what it was. But I know it wasn't, it was, it was a lot, lot cheaper than doing it in, in the UK. And of course, we had a few days of Prague and everything, which is also really nice as well. Um, definitely would recommend taking somebody with you. Um, you know, for me, I definitely felt like having that support there, um, especially in the days afterwards where you're in the hotel, uh, you don't want to go out in bright sunlight. You, you stay there and you, you put your eye drops in every few hours or whatever it is. And, you know, just having someone there to, to do that with you and, support I think is is really good um, so again if you if you have a choice if you've got someone to take and listen you get some time to enjoy Prague go and have a meal and what have you so you know it, it's always nice to do that with someone um, so uh, let's see what else we've got on here um, yeah someone said they're worried that I died from eye surgery uh, no nope, I'm very much alive I think I answered that one anyway but thank you for your concern yes I have made financial education um, videos uh, that's what I do in one of my businesses. We have a financial education business where we literally help people become debt free, financially independent, pay the mortgage off quicker and so on and so forth. So it's kind of kind of what I do uh, in one of my businesses for the last 15 years. Um, really, I guess you'd call it financial services from an educational perspective, I suppose you could say, um, ethical. Um, and, you know, then we also have some I have some other things I do um, again. If you if you follow my channel, I'll do I'll be doing more uh, things on there. But if you want to check out the other things I do alongside, you know, mindset, skill set, coaching, development, um, then by all means go to mindsetskillset.net uh, forward slash three seven, and you can actually get a free ebook um, on mindset and so on. So um, again, another plug. Gosh, I'm plugging a lot today. Again, you know, uh, if you don't want to, it's okay. You know, it's just a thought. Um, so, uh, yeah, what else? Any other questions? So I'm just going to try and go through. I just want to see if I get any of them. Um, yeah, I think I pretty much answered them. I mean, there's only a few on there. Uh, I think I responded on text to most of them. Yes, I could drive, you know, relatively quickly. I mean, I didn't come home for a few days, but I could drive really, um, you know, it was within days. It wasn't a long thing as far as I remember. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that's useful. Um, you know, whether or not you should do it or not, I think that you've just got to do your research, uh, watch some more videos. Um, this is only in my experience. Um, you know, if I had a choice of doing it again, would I do it? Um, I think the answer is yes. Even now, even with that little bit of shadowing and, and glare and stuff, I, I still would have done it. I love not, not having to find my glasses or have several pairs all over the place. And, you know, um, so I think I, I would. Um, I think the only thing that disappointed me is having this amazing TV and, you know, the white is really white and it's got a bit of glare on it. And it didn't have that before when, when I didn't have to wear glasses because it was, you know, my, my long distance was perfect. So I think that's the only thing that I, I'm disappointed about really. Um, the, the short sighted side I can live with. Um, I, I still prefer that to finding glasses, uh, the long sight part. I feel that that I still got great vision long distance, you know, normally, but on seeing a TV and stuff, um, still feel that a little bit. But again, uh, that might over time change. Perhaps uh, if I remember, and if you all remind me, uh, <laughs> uh, follow the channel, click subscribe, bell, all that kind of stuff, then, um, you know, I, I'm sure in, in six months' time, I'll come and do another one uh, and, and let you know how it is then. Um, Hope it was useful for you. Feel free to keep asking questions in the comments. I apologize for not answering sooner because I, I you know, I just kind of did the video and it, it's not what I do in my business. So I wasn't really focused on it. And I kind of just really didn't even notice there was comments actually. Um, so once I did, I tried to respond. So uh, yeah, hopefully that's been useful for you. Um, yeah, do your research and uh, 
keep following. And if you're interested in mindset stuff, um, then by all means, kind of keep following and, uh, you know, look me up um, on mindsetskillset.net as well. All right. Have an awesome rest of the day. Take care. Bye-bye.